my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Fashion is Audrey here, aka Matilda, and it's been so long since I filmed a makeup tutorial, and I just thought the perfect look would be this Valentine's look. It's a soft pink kind of look. I love it so much. I love the outcome. It's soft. It's girly. It's Valentine's, okay? So, yeah, without any further ado, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. To start off this beautiful look, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Warm Honey to prime my lids for my eyeshadow and I'm just blending that out with my finger. Then I'm going to set that with the RCMA powder. That way everything just stays in check. It's Valentine's Day, you don't need anything moving about. Next I'm taking the BH Day and Night palette and using that coral shade, I'm going to place it in my crease and really blend that out. This look was so blended, I'm honestly in love with how it turned out. I'm actually going to wear this for Valentine's. It was so beautiful. Then taking that mauve shade, I'm just placing that in the outer V of my eyelid and really packing it on until it kind of shows up on my skin tone. And then I'm also placing some of it below the coral shade and just blending everything together. The secret to life is to blend your life away, okay? Just when you think you've done enough blending, blend some more. Next, I'm taking the same concealer and then I'm curving out my crease. I did sort of a half cut crease and I really, really liked the outcome. So I'm just really covering it out. Pack a lot of concealer in there and you're gonna be fine, okay? Just trust me on this one. Next, I'm just setting that with a powder, just very carefully setting that, that way everything stays in place and doesn't move about. Then taking that kind of champagne pink color, I'm placing it on the concealer. And I kind of didn't like how it came out, so I added a bit more of a coral pink, and I loved this color. It just looks so beautiful and pink. This is exactly what I had in mind. So I'm just packing that on top of the pink champagne-y color and that's, that's it. Taking my Relentless Volume Mascara from Black Radiance, I think. Everything will be in the description bar down below. I'm just coating my lashes in preparation for my falsies. And then I went away, put on my falsies and I'm back. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just priming my face with the Black Up Fluid Mattifiant Primer. I love this primer for days when I don't want to break a sweat. It keeps everything in check. Then going in with my Fit Me Foundation, I'm just covering my whole face. This day I actually did one layer of foundation and to be honest, I wasn't mad. Like it looked pretty good. And I think I'm going to use less foundation from now on. But hey, don't hold that against me. I love foundation and I'm a full coverage kind of person. So yeah, this was just one day. Then going with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. I'm just going to highlight everything and of course cover my eye bags. Then I'm going to contour with the black opal stick, cover up those cheekbones. On Valentine's Day, you definitely don't want the pounds to show up, so make sure you contour real nice. Now I'm just blending the concealer with a damp beauty blender. I got a new setup, guys. What do you guys think of it? I am in love with it honestly i think it looks so bomb i should have lit the candles but i kind of forgot to do that before the video but it still looks cute let me know in the comment section what you think then now i'm just gonna blend my contour with a brush and then blend it all in with the concealer using my damp beauty blender if you've been watching my videos for a while you know i do this because it gives you a very natural finish and makes your contour look less harsh and that's why I do this like you just go on top of everything with your beauty blender and merge it with your concealer there's a trick for Valentine's Day or other tip whatever you'd like to call it now I'm gonna set everything with my Sacha Buttercup powder 
and I'm not baking I'm just packing in the powder that way my concealer is locked in and doesn't budge around during my day and basically just set all the areas you highlighted so basically I'm setting all the areas I highlighted okay Then of course, cover out that contour, make your cheekbones look sharper than anything really. And then I'm just gonna blend that out and then dust that off using my powder brush. Once that's done, I'm taking my Outdoor Girl powder and I'm just going over everything to make sure it just looks seamless and everything merges well. And yeah. I also get that matte finish. I do tend to have a very oily T-zone, so this layer of powder really helps. Then I'm setting that contour as well with my sleek highlight and contour kit. I am doing this voiceover in one take, guys. I can't, I'm not gonna do another one. <laughs> I just slightly contoured my nose, then going in with the black up blush, I just put that on my cheekbones, then kind of tight lined my eyes with this white pencil from Flommer. It's not exactly the best, it didn't show up the way I wanted it to, but I still like it. And then I'm just going into that same mauve shade to just coat my bottom lid and mascara. Now I'm just highlighting with the same sleek contour and highlight kit just to make my cheekbones pop. That cupid's bow, blah, 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 I can't talk. That cupid's bow has to look good and the bridge of my nose. Then I'm just setting everything with my e.l.f. mist and set spray. Then I'm going in with my liner. I think this is a Gabrini liner in number 16 or 18. I'm not sure everything is gonna be in the description bar down below. Then I went in with a nudist peach from Wet n Wild and I'm just going back in with my liner just to make sure everything looks good and that my lips don't look too ashy. Then I didn't like how it looked matte so I just went in with my Milani gloss in Bare Secret and that's basically it for this look. That is it. That is it. That is how simple this look is. As I said, this is perfect for Valentine's. Whether you're single, whether you're celebrating with someone, just make sure you get a bit glammed up. Fill yourself, make yourself feel good, and yeah, overall, just love yourself and treat yourself. Even if you have no one to treat you, it's still fine. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe on your way out, or stay, watch a couple more videos, get acquainted with the family, subscribe, all those good things. And if you're subscribed, I will see you in my next video. Until then, Bye! Woo!